state of and to watch the torture and had to put out some fantasy matchups as well. So, yeah, I did. Yeah, I needed Cooper Cup to have like less than 20 or 21. I was like, please don't score a touchdown late. And fortunately, he did. But uh, I also did lose a matchup. I thought I was winning and I went and I lost. I'm like, what happened? Oh, yeah, you know why I lost? Because uh, the kicker for the Rams, Mr. Uh, Cardi, got oh, 20 yeah. points. That was that was tough. That was basically all you saw too, which is all of that. I don't know. It is so it was so annoying. Uh, yeah, I went to bed, uh, so I was happy about that. Uh, but there's your there's your Monday night recap. But I know everyone was waiting for us to talk about it break down. Uh, let's continue on here uh, in the fantasy life water cooler. And again, as is where you can go and check out all of our articles as well. Uh, 100 free there. I just want to mention because I want to talk a little bit about the tight ends here the rest of the way, but I didn't want to mention. Excuse me, where do I check in at? Oh, so park over here and check in? To do it, um, but it, it is a good segue to just talk about Trey McBride in general, some of these tight ends that we just mentioned with Wayne Collins coming into this segment. Like, hey, some of these guys have really started to step up for you, and Trey McBride, especially, and the Arizona Cardinals as well. There's not a lot that you can do there, but Trey McBride coming up the rest of the season, I think that this team is going to continue to win these games, and he is going to continue to give you these fantasy points that really, really supercharges your fantasy team. They have actually had one of the more difficult schedules in the NFL so far, and they have one of the easier.